Science happens everywhere, from where you would expect it to where you would least expect it. Science and technology are changing our lives, making it better, making it easier. Think about a career that involves science, a career where you need science to get the job done. Science happens here. Science happens here. Science happens here. Science happens here. Myth or science fact, no swimming after eating. I eat before I teach off a bit, and I haven't drowned. I have no idea whatsoever. And I think it's a myth. I don't, I don't believe in it. A career in sports medicine reveals the truth. I'm Jennifer Copeland, uh, and I'm an associate professor of kinesiology at the University of Lethbridge. Specifically, I'm interested in the study of aging and how being active uh, helps us age successfully. There are changes as we get older, but they're not all totally inevitable. And if we maintain an active lifestyle, uh, we really can help offset some of the things that we associate as an inevitable consequence of getting older. I essentially get paid to learn and to study. Using science, using technology, and using you know, the scientific method is, is how I try to answer questions about physical activity and exercise. Occasionally we get to bring in NHL hockey players uh, or Olympic caliber athletes and test their physical fitness and, and that's always an amazing thing to see. If you're really interested in the, in the scientific part of kinesiology, I think it's important to get a good uh, foundational education in science, in the basic sciences. Could you really power an electric car with a wind turbine? Uh, I think so. I think it could be done. Absolutely. If not now, a wind farm operator could figure it out. My name's Larry Bester. I work for Action Wind Energy Canada. I'm the O&M manager for the two wind farms down here in southern Alberta, Chinchute and McGrath. Back in the late 90s, uh, wind turbines were considered to be more of a farming novelty and have since evolved into a, a commercial, uh, industry-hardened uh, power generation unit. And uh, as such, uh, they can be relied upon to supply power to the grid instead of just for uh, small industry. Uh, I think if you were uh, uh, wanting to get into the technician side of of uh, wind operations. Uh, some of the programs that are offered at the colleges would be a good start. Uh, we've had very good luck with uh, people that are uh, aircraft mechanics or uh, uh, automotive mechanics that have an electrical background. It is a very challenging job and I think that's what I like about it. Uh, there's always something new whether it's uh, from a safety perspective or a stakeholder perspective or um, a technical perspective. Urban legend, or does it really make a difference if flowers are cut on an angle? I would say no. I heard they, sc they scream less when you cut them like that. I wouldn't know. Legend or not, science is involved in the floral industry. My name is Beth Wynn. I have 27 years in the flower industry. Making the arrangements, that's the funnest part of the job. Cutting the stems, you should use a knife and always on an angle because when the flower is sitting in the vase, it's sitting flat at the bottom. So if it's on an angle, it has an opportunity to drink. It drinks through the stem and it breathes through the leaves. So you want to leave as many leaves on as you can. It is really a lot of fun. It's a big responsibility, it's huge. You have to buy right, you have to sell right, it's all wonderful fun. Wouldn't it be cool if you could grow a salt and vinegar potato? I think it could be possible. I think it's possible with enough uh, genetic engineering. That would be great, but I gotta say no. 
If you could bring it out of the ground, ready to eat, I'd be good to go. With new technology and innovation, could potato farmers make it possible? My name is Edzo Koch. I'm the executive director of the Potato Growers of Alberta. Uh, we have a membership of 125 growers. So my role is to ensure their success in, in the potato industry. Yeah, agriculture, to me, we just had, had, it, had an appeal yeah. right from the beginning. Science has, has allowed us to use our water more wisely and at the same time get the biggest bang for our buck uh, as far as the crop yield is concerned. I guess every day is a little bit different and every season is a little bit different. Uh, it's exciting to watch something go into the ground and, and see what, what comes from it. Yeah. Our new generation of, of potato farmers are, are the offspring of the, what we call the old school farmers. And they're coming out of university, they're, they're leaving the farm, going to school, getting their degrees and then coming back to the farm. Uh, my advice to anybody that wants to get into any type of uh, potato business is that they spend some time on the farm. It's invaluable to learn where the crop comes from and, and what it takes to grow it. Whether you're going to end up in processing or, or in the fresh pack industry, if you're going to be dealing with potatoes, it's important that you know how they're grown and all of the challenges that come with growing a crop. Science is happening in your area, from local businesses and farming to advanced technology and research. A career in science can happen for you. For more information, visit sciencehappenshere.ca. Science Happens Here is proudly presented by Science Alberta Foundation and presenting sponsor Suncor Energy Foundation.